Hi Pisces! Finally! Welcome to your life after the retrograde forecast for couples and please take note that this is only a general reading. Might not resonate to all of you out there. I will be using four different spreads and with four different decks. Like um... How do you see each other and how do you hurt each other or the other uh, hurt spread? Where do you go from here and the bottom line? Okay, let's take a look, Pisces. Oh, charging too fast. Seeing a um, small opportunity. Going through a transition. Being so defensive, your partner. Uh, raging success. In the waiting, especially for the for those uh, Pisces who's with a fire sign, let's take a look at the herd spread. Pisces, okay. Um, Pisces, it's like you are, you know, you are in a hurry to charge up ahead and uh, go through this transitional phase, and eventually you're going to be successful. While your partner is still looking for a uh, for an opportunity, being so defensive and still in the waiting. Your partner feels like being left out and uh, feeling betrayed while you, they feel like you're only concentrating in your own cup of glory and success. You're also feeling a little bit cold and distant and cut off and dry and your partner is starting to analyze a lot of things. You don't have communications right now. And you are feeling so sick, you're feeling so tired of everything you feel like you just needed to have some rest you don't want to you know you don't want to hear any more drama and you don't want to have any more drama your partner is also looking for some changes in the horizon and the changes in the situation you're going through a lot of struggles and difficulties at this point and your partner is carrying their burdens the wrong way and eventually the two of you will be patching things up and will somehow work things out based on your um yeah, but based on your both conditions and you will be so busy working while your partner will still be like trying to you know play mind games with you and uh make it appear that you are a little bit selfish okay i'm not saying that you're selfish uh, your partner is the one who will make it appear that you are okay only thinking about yourself and you will be keeping your you know your 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 emotions your feelings more and you will be keeping it inside of you instead of sharing it because instead of understanding you your partner will be judging you more and changes are coming up ahead of your part of your partner's life okay and there will also be a shift in your home environment you hurt your um your partner hurts you in a way that they always lie and cover up and they create alibis and deceptions that you eventually you know catch them and you are waiting for it's like for a revelation or you're waiting for things to also spruce up and steer up and your partner it's like you hurt them by being a little bit aggressive to a front and too frank and straightforward and they you know they cannot really contain this and this is the reason why they wanted to move away 
and you are starting to think that you know I cannot really lie I, I, I cannot really contain those you know these things inside my head while you are you know it's like I cannot really convince you with a lie you know I'd rather confront you with the truth than convince you with a lie and this is the reason why your partner is also being a little bit defensive now let's take a look where do you go from here This is your current situation, what causes you the problem, what you've forgotten to express, what you've forgotten to respect, your options, and the solution. Oh, it seems like you're still going to be working things out. You just need to have some space. Your current situation. Oh, good. Starting new... Well, the good thing here is the two of you really feels like you really belong together. But let's take a look first at this spread. You are feeling, you know, or you are acting both stubborn. And instead of thinking about a solution, you are playing like who's the highest or who's the boss. And you don't really communicate. You don't know how to, you know, fix your relationship by... You know, by talking like to consenting adults and um, you need to grow up, you know. I mean, both of you are successful, both you, especially you. But sometimes you also need to, you know, step down a little bit. And what you've forgotten to respect is that both of you are very busy with your work. You have your own careers and you have your own roles outside of your home and outside of your domestic life. But here, you just need to work things out like, you know as a team and not as competitors and stop fighting and you just need to stop being so defensive you also need to go on a travel so that you can renew your bonds and you can renew your connections with each other i feel like your partner really loves you but um it seems like there's just a lot of misunderstandings and communication gaps now you are so busy with your work your work 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 and um it's like all you think about is financial security and you are about to begin a brand new project, job, business, investment or something like that. And, you know, it's like you don't really have the time to feel the pain or to feel the heartbreak. The two of you will be talking and I feel like you are going to be put in a leadership position soon. And this is going to be another issue. Now, your partner feels like you should give them attention, you should pay attention to them or you should heed their call they know that you are the right one for them and you do have that you know very strong connection towards each other but your partner also wants to be the boss and it's like sometimes you don't really live or you don't really you know go as couples but more likely just two housemates so this is what i'm trying to tell you that you need to go on a travel to renew those bonds and to recall your past okay so that your partner will stop being so defensive about it. But eventually the two of you will still going to be, you know, are still going to be together. So. Yep. You'll be giving this another try. And you'll be giving this, you know, another uh, another push okay but you will be remaining your reserve and you will be putting down like your fence and your borderline even though it's just very low so you know there's nothing wrong with that okay so this is good for you Pisces and uh, anyway that's it for you for this time and if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live with your calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net alright blessings to you